So I just want to give you a bit of a timeline. And the reason why I think the timeline is important is just to give you a sense of the rapidity how, or how fast things have happened. So on December 31st, 2019, uh, China's central Hubei province confirms dozens of cases of pneumonia from an unknown cause. It's believed that the very first infected person probably occurred um, in that region in roughly mid-December. By January 7th, 2020, um, the outbreak was identified by a very specific and new novel coronavirus. Uh, um, by January 20th, the World Health Organization, WHO, reports the first cases outside of China in Thailand, Japan, and South Korea, meaning that this is no longer disease to one area, one region, but it's now gone outside of country borders. By January 23rd, 2020, the uh, Chinese government realized how serious things were and to mitigate the impact of this infection, they placed Wuhan, a city of 11 million people, under quarantine, strict quarantine. On January 25th, 2020, Canada confirms its first case of COVID related to somebody who traveled from Wuhan, China, to Canada. By February 11th, 2020, the disease caused by this new novel coronavirus is given an official name called COVID-19. By March 11th, 2020, the WHO declares a global pandemic outbreak of COVID-19. At that time, there was over 100 countries and over 100,000 people who were infected by this novel virus. And today on March 19th, 2020, a, a good news report, China reported no new domestic coronavirus cases from the first time since the outbreak began. And so to give you a, a concept of that, you know, from December, mid-December when this starts, to having no reported cases in, in mid-March is excellent. Now, there could be other cases that may develop down the road, um, but we kind of see the sense of the peak in, in, in China, and that's going to give us a lot of information about what's going to happen in countries outside of the world. 